in or about 1974. John Shaw and Geoffrey Evans, two Englishmen, came to Ireland, mainly because they were wanted by the police in England for rape of a young girl. On the 22nd of September, another young lady, Mary Duffy from Castle Bar. She wasn't gone too far when two men, apparently Sean Evans, pulled up beside her in the car. One of them got out, dragged her back to the car, put her into the car. During the struggle, she screamed and she lost a set of dentures which were subsequently found a day or two afterwards and identified by her dentist. into an office upstairs in the garden stairs. We told him that uh, we did not believe the story that he had been telling the police up to this. We told him that his colleague, Jeffrey Evans, had admitted his involvement in the disappearance of the two girls and that he had made a statement involving John Shaw. And we asked him to tell us the truth. And we told him that it was important to the families that the bodies of the two girls were recovered, that we knew that they had been killed. And we kept talking to him as best we could and as sort of coaxing him and encouraging him and cajoling him. And eventually he says, all right, I'll tell you everything. On Saturday, the 28th of August, 1976, a young lady from Dublin by the name of Elizabeth Plunkett went to McDaniel's pub down in British Bay with a group of friends for a night out. Uh, McDaniel's was at that time a very popular pub for holiday makers and it was in full swing at that time of the year. During the course of the night in McDonald's, a dispute arose between Elizabeth Plunkett and her boyfriend. And Elizabeth decided to leave. So she walked out and uh, that's the last that she was seen alive.
I was horrified to hear the ordeal that the two young girls had been subjected to when these two men abducted them and murdered them and beat them and spoke about having to kill them in their presence. I was horrified. And to this day, I'm still horrified. It's the worst case that I have heard of. And I am not surprised to this day that they're still in prison. And I have no wish to see them released.